88 yards to become number two all-time in pass yards. And he's a good runner. Lamb is going to throw and test that secondary early, and it falls. At Bates, Nail, a freshman All-American last year. We talked about their young receivers. App State comes out throwing, and they'll pick up Tim Moore. Jalen Virgil, Ike Lewis, we'll talk about, and Thomas Hennigan, number five. They continue to the throw, and this one nearly intercepted, getting a handle. Football game in the event that Jalen Moore can't get going. And it is Upshaw on this opening drive, and look at the power from... Third down and three. Lamb is going to throw it. Look left initially. Nothing open. And he throws off his back foot. In Kick, baby. Going for it. Lamb is going to throw, and it's knocked away. Income from the 20-yard line. They'll use their H-backs frequently. Lamb has been looking to the air early and often, and he hits the size. Good hands. Second down and short. And busting into the secondary goes up. RPO again by Lamb. He'll float it. Nobody open downfield. In completely on the other side of the field. Second and 10 from the 37. Upshaw with that horizontal cut, but there is not much there. And again, the receiver. Press coverage by Amari Henderson. Lamb is going to throw field side. App State trying to pick up a spark, so they go to the reigning Sun Belt Offensive Player of the Year, Marcus Cox. Second down and five. They bring a blitz off the edge and tripped up. Play clock inside 10. Lamb looking for that quick slant. Caught and a first down. Dante hit. They lost four of their top eight wide receivers from a year ago. Play fake, reverse pivot, Lamb under pressure, forced to throw it away. Been so tough this season. Three receivers right, they run it that way. Look how hard they hit the hole in the first step. Sniffing at that red zone, same play. This time Moore is met with. Five. Zeke Rodney goes about 305. They stay on the right side, they run the end around pass. Lamb to the end zone, looking for Duffield. All week. Actually, the last two years. <laughs> From the 21-yard line, they will hand it off to Upshaw, and he is tracked down in the backfield. That depth has actually helped edge of four in keeping him fresher, especially late in games. Quick hitter, Upshaw. Cut down by the freshman, Hennigan. Split left, matched up by Henderson. Pressure up the middle. Lamb is hit, but he throws a strike. Lewis on a hitch. Snap. He knew he was going to get hit. Didn't bother him. They put Lewis in motion. He's just the decoy as they run to the boundary side, and it does not. Appalachian State with the lead as they start second and 10 from the 37 with room on the near side, down and six. Play clock the three when Lamb took the snap. Here comes the blitz. Lamb dodges, rolls right. He could run if he wants to, and he will, and he'll pick up the first. Lamb recognized it, and he needed six yards, picked up about eight on it. Another third down conversion and sprinting to the outside is Upshaw. And first and ten, they show the pistol look. Lamb a pump, double route downfield, and Lewis has it go through his fingertip. Second and ten, penetration by Wake Forest, and a good job back in a lot of different ways. Third down and eight. Four-man front. They run a stunt. Little screen set up, and it is snipped out beautifully. At the 47-yard line, here comes a blitz off the edge. It's tipped at the line of scrimmage. Good field position when you've had the football. Top defensive line unit in there for Wake, and this is Upshaw on a shoestring tackle. Passes two wide receivers to both set. Need to get it to the 43. They're looking for that slant, and it's caught by Watkins, and that is a... On first down, there is nowhere. 41st consecutive start today at defensive end. Second down, Hennigan the target. Good coverage by Bass in spot. Three by one set. Kemp at the other end. He's back in there after being shaken up. And the ball on the option is loose. Still loose. And let's see who ends up. Took over for the legendary Jerry Moore and has successfully navigated this program from the FCS waters to the FBS. First side, five and a half to go in this second quarter in what's turned out to be a defensive dogfight. 
Lamb double clutches, fires, and a jug. Tremendous concentration, back-to-back -back grabs by Zai Lepman, and now a huge hole for Jalen Moore, but a solid. Beat him. They're not as scared of Wake Forest, and right now they're playing with a lot of confidence. Lamb a play fake, takes a shot toward the sideline, and Hennigan holes it. Red zone opportunity. App State, Lamb a pivot, wants that throwback wheel route, and it oh. was... Second down, they will go to the ground. You see Jalen Moore carrying for your spot for this third down play. Pressure on the ball. Lewis in motion, third and eight. Lamb looking left all the way. Hennigan, a lot of space, makes the catch, and it's set for Wake Forest, third and 13. Lamb forced from the pocket by Edge of Four, escapes Edge of Four, still on his feet, throws it away. First half. From the 27, Lamb look right, comes back near side, on target with Lewis, nearly spun away. Down. App State with the two timeouts. They settle toward the sideline. Hennigan makes the catch. He cannot get out. Defensive secondary. App State still needing another 20 to 25 yards to get their kicker in position. Lamb's going to try to pick it up on this throw as he holds him from the 38. Lamb sets the feet and throws offline. He was looking for him at the bottom of our screen. Basham and Edge of this four, the two Virgil. ends. They run a stunt. They rush four. Lamb steps up and throws. Catch is made. It's Zy Letman well in the field goal range. And offense today only 106 so far. They'll field the H back. They come out throwing, making the catch is Williams and a good open field tackle. Yarberry, Rodney, edge of four, Dunn, the front four for Wake Forest. Nowhere to go for Lamb, flush by Dunn, and he's fourth. The second half comes right now. Does Jay Sawville bring a blitz? No, he rushes four. Lamb with initial time will step up in the pocket, being chased by Basham, avoids Basham. Mom is the best, takes photogs every game. Hadn't missed the ball game, she said. She win ball games for you on Sundays. Second and 10 from the 36, a play action for Lamb, rolling right, soft toss underneath. Duffield with his third catch of the day. Two receivers right, twin set left. Here comes the blitz. Lamb looking right, floats, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Jalen Virgil. The yardage from where Virgil was tackled, so a first down as they give it to Upshaw. And just before team to come back from your tough team to get off the field right now. And this against an ACC defense, a very good yeah. ACC D. Again, Lamb is flush, throws a pass into double coverage and nearly a crowd in Boone. Another third down. They're two for two on this drive. Lamb stays in the pocket, deflected and incomplete. And it's a backdoor rivalry. They should be playing. And you think they're excited now? Wait to 2020, I think it is, when Carolina comes to town. Carolina twice in the future years when they're not part of that normal conference rotation. Should play. Second down. Give. Look out. Open field. They're not going to catch him. Watkins to the 30. Watkins to the 10. Five. Touchdown. After. Half ball games this season. Taylor Lamb has thrown the ball 34 times. This will be his 35th pass of the game, and Lewis is unable to hang on. Good coverage, tight coverage. By Moore is the running back, the Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Year, trying to make some moves. He gets three, four yards before he has stood up. Still not going down. Finally a whistle. The officials were letting that one go for a while. I think it <laughs> they line up Williams and Sternod over that A gap here and they both come. Lamb feeling the heat from Sternod, forced to throw it away. Solid call for two years and they've won two bowl games. Just unparalleled success. You don't see that too often. In fact, the first everybody talks about that Michigan game, but the Appalachian folks are okay, yeah, no big deal. We've been beating a lot of people. <laughs> room over the left side for Terrence Upshaw still on his feet again T.O. said get your popcorn fourth quarter coming final play of the quarter penalty is thrown as Lamb strong quarter by Wake Forest to regain the lead Lamb throws nice catches made Letman showing some side Stan Luter Sean Kenny with you here in Boone North Carolina second down give 
Up past the 45 to the... Guys haven't got over 300 yards against Wake's defense this year. Third down, here they come again, and a drop. This one knocked away. Eighth grade teacher, Jen Borton, for setting him on a scholarship path. As they look downfield, oh. and a... Can you say SC top 10? There's a nominee right there. First down, they try to get that ground game going, and nowhere... Second and 10 from the 23-yard line. Lamb, a play fake. Flushed, rolls near side, and he throws it away. Yarberry. Motivate me. I might not be sitting here doing this if it hadn't been from his cheek. So she told me you could just read. Keep reading stuff. Read every day. So many unsung heroes. Third. Malik Williams in motion. He lines up to the right of Lamb. Lamb looking toward the sideline. The sure-handed freshman makes the catch. For the freshman from Greensboro. First down. They hand it off. Upshaw getting to the outside. Holding call will be having would be seen. <laughs> <laughs> First and 20 from the 25. And a big hole opens up. And Upshaw trying to it's more 13 carries, 31 yards. Upshaw 81 yards. Trying to add to that total. Slips free from one. Motion opposite. Motion opposite. Ram looking left, fires for Hennigan, has a step, and he can't make the one-hand catch. Second down and 10, that shovel pass that went for a touchdown earlier in the game. They flip. Do good Upshaw, you, you don't forget Lamb on the option. Third down and five, they will give it to Upshaw, and he has nowhere to go. They're thinking like Play clock to one, they just do get the snap off, they hand it to Upshaw, and... Second and third effort, yards after contact there for Upshaw to keep the drive alive. They go back to the ground and Zeke move on the ball well and linebackers. Fresh bodies brought up front for Wake and they're going to run the reverse on second down, giving ground and Lewis is dropped. Back. The ball at midfield, they have two receivers right, that's Hennigan and Lewis. Lamb looking that way, floats and it is nearly intercepted. Boom. Pressure and no penalties. From the 46, they bring Williams on a blitz, and Lamb forced to throw it away. For this moment, for a long, long time with their neighbors. And look at Huge play tonight. Third and 15, the Mountaineers moving the wrong way. Lamb steps up, throws, and it's knocked away. Eye on edge of four, he's the down lineman to the right. Lamb the throw, fires deep downfield, looking for Hennigan, and a flat Contact. 61 seconds on the clock. Lamb with new life. Looking downfield, trying to buy some time. Nothing opened up. The corner zone on the island. They've Three sent, wide to this side. They've sent Williams every play. He comes again. They run a stunt, and the pass is caught. Picked. Third down and three. Lamb wants to get rid of it quickly on the slant. This will stop the clock. There's Quinsett to the left. Can't take a sack if you're Appalachian. Lamb gets rid of it quickly, and it's caught. Tackled immediately.